All right, friends, Dan here. We are back. You might notice a change of scenery. We're here at Five Iron Golf as we always are, but Fridays are busy days. All the simulators are filled with golfers playing, trying to get better. So I'm live on the putting green. I got this very cool mural aesthetic to my, my left, probably your right. And then I got Park Avenue out here behind me, 41st and Park. So cool spot to be. Uh, what are we talking about today? The title of today's video, I'm gonna call it Always More, Never Less. And it's a perspective we can take, I would encourage you to take as you're working on your golf swing. All right, so it's a, let me start with this. The golf swing by definition, in my opinion, I guess at least, is a fast twitch athletic movement that is happening in about a second for almost all of us, okay? So what I've never found success with is like one restrictive thought mixed with inevitably several aggressive thoughts uh, it just never computes well, usually just bad results. And even if we get some decent results, they never seem to last. So I'm going to run you through a couple scenarios here of where we see classically people trying to restrict their swings in certain areas and some things you can do instead to do more of something instead of less of something. Because ultimately, good swings are a balancing act or they're a recipe, right? So we're trying to get the right amount of each ingredient to have everything work out in the end. Okay, so first example I'm going to use is People feel like I'm getting too long with my backswing, too wrapped around. Some people succeed with that. Some people really struggle. So if you decide you feel like your swing is getting too long, what I'd encourage people to do, what I do it all the time in lessons is, don't think about less length, think about more width, right? If I can use these arms to drive some space between the shaft and my chest, I will increase width and I will simultaneously decrease how long I can get. So it's gonna be just as powerful, but again, you're doing more of something, which I've just seen a lot more success with trying to be aggressive in places in an effort to balance out the swing versus restricting yourself. Let's talk about another one, okay? A lot of people tell me, I feel like I'm swaying too much in my back swing, all right? I'm gonna use my right hip joint, my target's this way. If I feel like I'm swaying too much in the back swing, I'm always telling people that I feel like hip rotation is what stops the sway and sends it in the other direction, right? When I sway, my hip works away from the target. When I turn, it works back towards the target. So that golfer that feels like they're swaying too much, don't restrict your sway, just get into that turn earlier or feel like you're doing more of it, okay? So more turn should equal less sway when you prioritize it mentally that way, all right? The last instance here would be if I feel like instead of the arms in the backswing getting too wrapped around, a lot of people, we've talked about this in the past, feel like I'm getting a little bit too flippy. And I've talked in my previous video of things you can do in the backswing to combat that flippiness. But in this context, to do something more in the downswing to avoid the arms kind of flipping or scooping prematurely, what we can look to do is get more body rotation. So what I'm always doing in this scenario is I get a golfer to the top of their backswing and then I will hold their arms and hands and have them turn into their lead shoulder and uh, bicep, if you will, right? So the, the bicep is gonna pinch up against that left pec, and I wanna feel a stretch on the outside of the shoulder. That's gonna sort of turn and stabilize the face. That's gonna create a drag effect that would sort of offset or nullify how much that club can wrap around. So it would be more body turn versus less arm swing. And arm swing versus body turn is the best video I've done on YouTube. So if you haven't checked that one out, go watch it. People are seeming to enjoy that simple concept. But back to today's topic, if you think about it, and if you have a specific scenario that I haven't addressed here, just hit me with it in the comments and I'll help you brainstorm. But almost always, if you really kind of work through it mentally, you're gonna be able to find a way to add more of something to achieve the overall balance that we seek here, again, versus less of something. The only time where I've seen less of something be successful is in distances that are sub full swing, right? So distance wedge play, short game shots, putting. Because we're not seeking high levels of acceleration and power in those shots, I have seen people succeed trying to do less of things. But in this full swing context, where all of us would probably agree that as long as I can control the ball flight and I know how far it's going to go in my approach play, most of us would always take more distance so long as, again, we knew it was coming, right? So uh, in full swings, always more, never less. 
find your balance. And if you can't figure it out, that's what people like me are here for, all right? Until next time. Oh, like and subscribe.